Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Did you drop a bug, dude? Probably. Dropping shit all over the place. We just started the server and you're already making a mess. God. <laughs> it took you so long to log on that I've started getting hungry and there is a horse all up in my grill. Ah, he bucked your ass off. He doesn't like you. Kick his ass, see bass. You can ride them until you, they like you. Greetings from the land of OP. You just keep doing this till they like you, I think. I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am here with my friends Xavier and his girlfriend Blue Fairy, and we are bringing you episode number one of season number one of my first ever actually recorded server play series. Aw, shit. Well, I tamed it. Now I need a saddle. Can you not move him until you have a saddle? Correct. That is sour. <laughs> so, I guess we are just going to bust it up here in this uh, server pack that uh, you got going on here. I started recording BT Dubs, guys. <laughs> I don't want to miss the adventure of Xavier messing with the horse. Go, go, horse adventures. So... I already am missing a hunger bar of food, because it took Blue Fairy's computer so long to cooperate. So we should probably figure that out, and figure out where we want to make temporary base and all that kind of fun stuff. And if you'd like, while we dink around with that, Xavier, you can maybe babble a little bit about the updates you've done to server packs since last I recorded. And, uh, spoiler alert, I already know a few of them, because I actually recorded a thing earlier. And uh, I pretty thoroughly cussed your ass out, so uh, be prepared for that when you watch it. <laughs> well, basically, I updated everything that was in our uh, not super difficult pack. This is old map data, guys. And uh, yeah, one of the most notable things I added was pneumatic craft. Put in some of the rotary craft stuff, so I'm very, very technical monster there. I haven't heard and shit whole about bunch of other supporting mods. It, does. it uses motors in a more realistic way. This is a giant with torque and such. Giant. Torque? Yes. So we're gonna get some hot bitches up here to shake their asses, and that's gonna power our machines. I like it. Yeah, that kind of torque. Why are we running around in this weird jungle thing? Wood. There's a lot of mob essence around. Where are you guys, anyhow? That's not mob. Is that mob essence? That's ours, magic essence. That's what I thought. Why is there so much of it? <laughs> I don't know. I left most of the configs at their default, except for item things, item IDs and such. I should probably not be rendering and recording at the same time. That's always been a bad plan in the past. <laughs> time to fix that? I was all excited to do recording and stuff today because it's been my first opportunity since I got that job that I might not be holding on to. <laughs> I like how the, the leaves are disintegrating really quick, like in the other mod pack. That makes me happy. Yep, I believe that's a feature from random things. Oh hey, you took damage. You'll be able to see a ah. feature from something else that I enabled. What's that? To accommodate our healing needs, 
you can heal yourself by eating food of sufficient value. You also leave a trail of blood. I hear zombies. Must be a cave near here. Well, we all know it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I like stepped off a tree and took some damage. And that's why that happened. I like had three hunger. Like, I had three, I was down three food. And I was punching this tree, and I got an apple, and I ate it, and I went up to two, and now I'm down to four almost instantly again. Sour about that. GG. I'm gonna starve, that's what's gonna happen in a second here. Apples don't do shit. <laughs> yep, that mod's installed the hunger overhaul thing. Except I nerfed its nerf, I guess you can say. Instead of reducing food values by a quarter, it only reduces them by a half. Oh, is that all? You realize you yeah. said buy, but so being reduced by a quarter is not as bad as being reduced by a half, if you say buy. Nah. Words, words, words. Words, words, words. Bat vision! Sunset vision. Oh my god. So... Yeah, I've got all the lag forever. I should probably not be rendering, rendering videos while recording. <laughs> probably a good idea to avoid that. I'm pretty damn sure that everybody's gonna rage at me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do a YouTube cut turn off the recording for a little bit, because all we're doing is running around looking for food and trying to find somewhere to live. And it's getting nighttime already. Are we going to hide in a hole? Is that what's going to happen? Yep. Oh god. I'm going to starve to death in the hole. <laughs> it's going to be a terrible night to have a curse. It's already a terrible night to have a curse, and it's not even night yet. Where did you go? I don't want to be left out of the hole. Almost face first into a ravine. That sounds kinky. There are creepers galore down there. I saw them through the bat vision. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh, this is gonna go poorly for me. So where are you guys? Frantically digging into the cliffside. And by cliff, I mean dirt. Mound. I'm about I to start no it, that's what I'm doing. You might as well just dig yourself into the hole. Oh, the, that hunger mod overhaul thing is part of the whole thingamajig where you... The more you move around, the more you tire yourself out, the more hungry you get, huh? Yes. Yeah, I like slow this and weakness and fatigue and shit. <laughs> and there's a zombie in my face. Now I'm nauseous. That's cute. Oh god. Ow. Ow. And now I'm dead. <laughs> so bad! Ow. No. Wonder if I can get up on top of a tree and just hide there for the night. I dug myself a th three one hole and I'm just hiding. Yeah, I should probably do that too. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess that's the plan for this evening. <laughs> We're going to uh, hide this hole for the night, YouTubes, because that's all I can really do at this point, and we'll be back. Hello. Holy crap, I got more books. More books? And somehow the books I had disappeared. Oh, wait. No, I died with those books. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha 
I see some various things may or may not have happened while I was gone. We acquired food. Oh, really? Chest next to the furnace. Fantastic. So basically, also. I this the nummery. Oh shit. The nummery. Meh. So basically, I died a bunch. And then, uh, after dying a bunch and running around and displacing old map beta with new map beta, we did a bunch of scouting. Also found out why we are starving so fast. Uh, basically all throughout here. This is old map beta, and this is old There map beta. is a setting which scales hunger loss based on difficulty. Guess what mode we're on? Uh, so. We were basically starving to death. Yep. Left, right, and center. We explored this area in here, and we found this little tiny-ass village that sucks all the balls forever. Sucks all the donkey cock. So... I went to get dinner, and uh, they basically ran around and did a bunch of work that I didn't help with in the least. So I've been an ass load of useless, and uh, now I'm here to take advantage of it. <laughs> so now that I've been an ass load of useless, I'm here to take advantage of your guys' hard work while I was gone. Okay, well, kill squids while you're out when you see them. Kill squids while I'm out. It's the most useful for Oh my god! Most ah! Why is there a giant hole out of the front door that I almost fell and died in? Because <laughs> I haven't had to use the ground for a while. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> you and your lucky ass with your OP bat mode? OP? I want OP bat mode. Sour. What do we need squids for? Ink sacks? What for? They drop meat. Twice. And one of them's really good. Since when did squids drop meat? I don't even have a weapon, man. <laughs> so did a smeltery? You said a smeltery started happening, or not a smeltery necessarily, but like a or Tinker Construct stuff? Is that a thing? Yeah. There is the house that you were standing on with the furnace and the foods, and its uh, insides is Tinker's stuff. I should probably not wander off into the world without a pick and a sword. <laughs> just, say, just saying. Well, you're going to be there for a while, because we can't make swords yet. <clears throat> really? They require... metal. There's a copper sword blade right in this chest down here. Yep, and you can make a rapier with 90 durability, and then not be able to repair it. Oh, sour. So we basically get no weapons forever? Uh, hatchets work well. Okay, well, where's, uh... <laughs> oh my god, so terrible. What? <laughs> you said we had flint somewhere? Uh, somewhere, I think. I have some if you need it. I'm gonna cover up this fucking hole, because I keep stepping into it and... Uh. I stole your darts. No. Precious darts. You, sir, have been dirt jacked. No. Where be to flints? In my inventory. Gimme. Iron Man compels you! Just one or more? Uh, one more would be good. So I can make a hatchet and a pick. Grassy ass. This flint is gonna straight up be like fucking cigarettes in prison, man. That's that's how valuable this shit's gonna be before we're done. Yeah. Especially because I'm going through it like mad. Let's see. Part table. There we go. Now that'll do. Could have swore these tools were more durable. And that'll do. And 
Bindings, maybe? Bindings, bindings, bindings. I can do sticks for tool rods. That'll work. And I need a tool binding of some sort. I guess a third stick will do just fine for that. You can always replace shit as you go, so it's not like I'm permanently stuck with it forever if I fuck this up. Uh, hatchet! Clumsy! Woohoohoo! Clumsy flint hatchet! Alright, we gotta do one of these. There we go. That'll do. Uh, pick. Binding. Bow. Clumsy flint hatchet and clumsy flint pick. I am rocking the Casbah now. Do it. So this giant trench you're digging around us, is there going to be a way for us to traverse this without monsters happening? Eventually. But we can sleep, so we don't have to worry too much. And this extra bed in my house is yours. Fantastic. <clears throat> I should probably carry it around with me. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, it's almost like we're doing the basics of Minecraft. <laughs> How crafty. What the shit was I doing, BT Dubs? Looking for squid? Uh, yeah. Squid's good. Squid's always good. You guys are totally, like, up on the base shenanigans, and I'm just, like, running around, like, doing jack. <laughs> Like doing dick all. I'm like, I've been going FK for a little while, bye lol. <laughs> Come back. Where's the flint? I'm gonna go track down more flint once we flip night time. Okay, so I found three squid and I got three raw squid, three squid meat, and three raw calamari. Uh hmm. <laughs> It's the raw calamari that you want to cook into delicious two-hunger bar increase. Is the rest of it not really worth anything? It's something. I guess I'll just drop my bed wherever the hell randomly here. Eh. Fucking- no. Damn it! <laughs> I was trying like crazy to set my bed down, and I just kept trying to set it on top of weeds and couldn't actually do it, and then you guys slept anyway. Like, okay. Should I dump the raw stuff in here? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know how you like chests with a lot of inventory slots? I do. I believe better storage has a 13 by 13 slot uh, chest. Which is 169 inventory spaces. Really? Yeah, I remember seeing in the config something about uh, how many slots should this reinforced chest have? And the maximum values were oh, set to 15 and 13. I want to make one of these to find out for sure. I just waited, wasted a butt shit ton of fuel. Fantastic. Sounds epic to me. What's it take to make one? No idea. Haven't even looked yet. What's it called? Been too busy scrounging the world for gravel and uh, food. Reinforced chest. Better storage. Hey Richard, can I plant all these seeds you found? <coughs> Never sure. Reinforced chest, reinforced copper locker, tin locker, reinforced silver chest. I see a couple of them. Oh, yeah, better storage. I see a couple of them. Reinforced silver chest, reinforced zinc chest, steel chest. Is there one in particular? I'm not sure which is which. No clue. I haven't messed with better storage beyond its really nifty uh, crate <coughs> thing. Well, apparently, it's a uh, 
couple of wood logs and a uh, four corners of whatever material you're building out of and a block of whatever material you're building out of. So like the iron chest is four iron ingots in the corners and a block of iron in the bottom. And it's basically a block and four of whatever with a regular chest and three wood logs. Well, we have a crap ton of coal and copper, so can you make a copper one? Uh, yeah, I can make a copper one. We can try making a copper one, then. Where be tech hoppers? In the double chest on the roof? Yeah, the double chest on the roof. <laughs> you, want, you want me to just cook this shit straight, or should I, like... We don't have a doubling mechanic set up yet, do we? Nope. Sour. So you can do it now, or we can wait. Though I am pulling up a bunch of copper right now. Yeah. I was like, how curious are we, and how much do we care about this copper? Don't care too much. I'm going to be using it as a stepping stone to get better pick stuff, eventually. That's pretty much it. Better pick stuff. What? Okay, so I gotta ask. Yes. What, okay. What's the thing that adds all this wind that blows leaves and torchlight and furnace light around and shit? That is something from Tropicraft. Specifically the weather mod. Fantastic. There may be chance of tornado at some point. What? I have not seen it in action yet. That's actually a thing? <laughs> That's actually a thing. Well, shit. God damn it. I hate just walking out randomly and then just suddenly hearing a fucking zombie. And you're like, where's this coming from? Oh god. And in this case, it's a zombie child I'm hearing out of nowhere, so this thing could just run up on me from nowhere at any second. Oops. That's not, that's not how you preserve the durability of your tool. What's the damage does it do? Uh, five attack damage. Well, that's not too bad, really. I suppose. Alright, now we got some wood. I'm gonna replant these trees, because we can't afford to be... Like... Ah! Ah! Ow! That was smart. Doink. Can't really afford to be wasting our uh, resources at this point. So we gotta lumberjack this shit. And copper. Aw. Alright. Need more than that. Point. So are we preserving apples for anything? Mm, not really. I'll just stick in this random chest this egg and these bits of stuff. Why are we missing the corner at the top of this house? BT dubs. Fireball. Oh, shit. <laughs> of effing fireballs? That was the thing that happened? Of effing fireballs. You were just straight up farming down there, aren't you? What are you planting? Everything. Anything that I find. That sounded creepy as shit. I don't know if you caught that or not, but basically I just peeked up out of nowhere. I'm like, what are you planting? Okay. Motherfuck. Um, why is there not a crafting station up here? That's kind of stupid. There should be one if we're going to be up here all the time doing stuff. Doink. Doink. Let's see. So, we got a block of copper. There we go. And we have a chest. In a second we have a chest. There we go. And I saw three logs. And the block. And the four of these. And... Doink. Reinforced copper chest. Hooray! 
It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's 13 inventory slots wide and three tall. So, 13, 26, 39. Hmm. Then the other tiers of it must add uh, additional rows. And I don't think I can pick this shit up either with a flint pick. Try the hatchet. Also, apparently, you can't upgrade these fuckers after you make them, so this thing is permanently the way it is. Well, we shall now make it our food chest, I guess. Uh, also, the hatchet isn't doing much, so I'm going to leave it, because I don't want to destroy it. Sounds good. I'll let you deal with that. <laughs> I'm going to run away and be useless in other ways, uh, other places. How about this? You can convert this gravel that I got into flint. My uselessness knows no bounds! Are we sure we don't want to make a smeltery with it instead? I'll find more. Okay. Well, YouTubes, I guess I'm doing a little YouTube cut here while I make gravel into flint. Exci as exciting as it is going to be to sit and watch me punch gravel into flint slowly over time like so. I don't think you guys want to see that, so, uh, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Rock punching simulator complete. I see a bat. Oh my god. Come here, bat. Oh my god. Get over here. You fuck. There's a couple bat. Well, wait. No, just one. Ah, come here, you. Oh god, I'm so close. Go, you son of a bitch. He's flying over water. Cheating bastard. Ah, <laughs> I got him. OP bat mode achieved. Gretz. Hating you both right now. Win. Nice. And there's some squid over here too. Hatchets to the face for everybody. Let's see. Now that I've completed uh, Rock Punching Simulator, <laughs> need to find something else to do. Squid Chopping Simulator? I'm hunting for a uh, beach to destroy so I can bring back to the sand for smeltery. Something about the twin generation with it. It's a little weird. Uh, it appears that the global sea levels have risen a little bit. So there's a lot of stuff that's just sunken and underwater. That would normally be beach. Huh. Yeah, once you start flying around and looking, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, I'm kind of up and over the terrain at the moment. I was trying to. Just kind of flying around happily with my OB bat mode while I'm trying to think of something to actually do to be productive with myself. <laughs> hmm. I could do a couple of things. We could do some Ars Magica. That wouldn't be too hard to get going, especially with all the mob essence all the fuck over the place. We could do... some basic tech... Probably I could do some digging. Hmm. I just had a random thought. There's one food type that really isn't present in any of the mods that I've seen added. What's that? Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. I haven't seen much for turkey. Okay. <laughs> Random thought is random. Indeed. Have you seen reeds anywhere? I harvest... I think I got a couple of them. Should be in the double chest. And if not, it's in the chest that's inside the actual house. Good god, flying is like way hard on your hunger. It is. <laughs> 
Okay, so... Let's do this. We have leather. We have leather. We'll take a leather. And we will... Let's get some uh, paper going on here. And... We will get a book. There's a book. Let's look up an item frame really quick. Item... There we go. Bamboo item frame. Let's do a default one. Need another leather and leather and eight sticks. Uh, there we go. And eight sticks. That'll do. Oh, it's twice as many sticks as I needed. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? Whoop. Oh, that's leather, not book. Hey, what the hell was that? Tile dot tmx works dot mesh filter dot name. Rats? The fuck is that? <laughs> An unlocalized name. Uh, apparently. Okay, so let's um, let's do one of these. There's a thing right over here. Actually, do we have any iron at all? Yes, we have a stack. Of oh, so you wouldn't mind if I fucked up some of them? <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, let's get ourselves some glass here. Let's do this. Let's go one, two, three, four. And we'll get over here. We'll go five, six, seven, eight. That'll be good. And we're going to come up here and cook us up. Oh, that's being used. Sour. Uh, well, there's some more cobblestone, so I'm going to make another furnace. And we're going to put the furnace, like, right on top of this one. Probably. Boink. And I'm going to grab some coal out of here. We'll stick some coal in here. And, oh, shit, you fuck damn mouse bitch. There we go. Glass. Give me glass. I want glass. And we'll take two of these. And I'm going to cook up, there's one iron ore, there's a stack of iron ore, no iron gravel, okay that's cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, seven, eight. I like to cook in full things of eight because that way we don't waste fuel. And I know that the first fucking thing I did in this damn game was waste some fuel once they got this shit going, but I actually don't like to do that. So, that's a thing. So give me a few seconds guys, I'm going to cook some stuff up. Alright guys, so in order to get this going, I'm going to need a few things. Uh, some reeds to remake a book. And we're going to make a couple of tanks. Like so. These are from Thermal Expansion. And we're going to do one of these. And we'll get ourselves a bucket. I'm going to yeah, get two buckets. I like to carry around a couple of buckets, just in general use. Just on general principle. And I need to make... Oh shit, I need some tin too. Hmm. Do we have tin up in? I don't think we have tin up in here. Well, that's going to be difficult. Well, um, without a crescent hammer, I'm not going to be able to finish this. I need at least one tin. Do we have any tin around anywhere? Or has that not happened yet? Nope. Sorry. Not yet. Well, I made a couple of portable tanks for hauling liquid around, but uh, without a without a piece of tin to make a crescent hammer, I guess can't do anything with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll just place them down on top of the roof up here for use, and then I can just manually move shit around. So yeah, that's a thing. Sounds good. Now I need to get a book going on. And I think I can get one out of one of these buildings. Is one of these a library? Uh, not that one, obviously. This one? You, ooh, well, that works. I'm just going to chop the fuck out of one of these. Chop. There's some books. I planted some reeds. Because I died a little while ago. I had a jumping creeper death. As you can see right in here. Blown up by special mobs dot jumping creeper name. I was pissed. He destroyed most of my shit. So I've been having to rebuild things. Had to make a new set of tools, all that kind of stuff. But that destroyed the book I had, too. So, uh, what's going to happen is I just chop those, so that's good. And we're going to do one of these. Let's see. I guess this pool will work out for me. 
Oh, man, all these animals in here. Shit. Um, I don't think it needs to be any special... I think it just needs to be up to, I believe. Like that. And we will do that. There we go. And all the runes go... Pow! And we have an arcane compendium. Doink. Yeah, where'd it go? Oh, how'd I end up over there? That's fucking weird. I just made an arcane compendium. Would you like one as well? Sure. What the f- I placed a dent- oh, there it is. Doink. Common. Where the fuck? That's fucked up. And then we'll just bucket this shit out. So I'm gonna bucket right there. I meant to bucket right there. Monsters. And I'm going to put those there so that I know where I've been. Run! Stupid ass sheep. He didn't drop anything. Sour. So this way we can get ourselves some essence. And this essence is going to power our nexus. I'm going to make a neutral nexus to start off with. And for a neutral nexus, I'm going to drop this in his chest over for you. Alrighty. I'll keep Thank that. You. I'll keep that. I'll drop that. And to make a neutral nexus, S ne nexus. Oh my God! Holy dick! We're gonna need a couple things. Uh, chalk. Not chocolate. Chalk. Uh, blue chalk. So I'm gonna need a lapis, uh, vintium dust, a paper, flint, and some clay. Which we got all this except for the vintium dust. So, as soon as we get some Vintium Dust, I can make us a, uh, a whole thing with the stuff, and the magic, and the whatnot. Oculus? A-M-U-I-C-F-G. Yeah, and some chalk for, you know, ne uh, Essence Nexus. Ah. Uh, this, I'm gonna take really low down here. And I'll be that looks good. Bring this really low as well. That'll be good right there. Numeric bar right there. That looks good. Yeah, I'll move it over a little bit more. Sweet. Now we're gonna options, show them. Yes, yes, yes. Minimal HUD, no. Duration, yes. Numeric bar, okay. Uh, still shitty. Uh, let's move this up a tad bit. Still shitty. I hate playing with this HUD. It takes me like nine years to get it figured out where I want to put it. Nah. That will do, but I want to move this up a little bit then. So we'll get this out of the way just a tad. Bring that up a little bit. That good enough. Cool, so I've got some uh, essence there. I'm gonna just kind of bucket some... I'm gonna get some of this dirt out of here. And I am just going to bucket the fucks out of this and move over that slowly. And, uh, we'll be back. What the fuck are you wearing? Brains? That don't look like no brains to me. Brains. You're holding brains? It's almost like you pulled them straight out of your own head and attached other heads to make up for it. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? I win. <laughs> I fucking guess. You are so close to smeltery. Mmm, just need lava. That'll actually work as is. Well, yeah, but we need the ability to uh, make a pickaxe head. Yep. Are you working on that part? <laughs> yep. Sweet. Gimme! I demand to benefit just from the fruits of your labors. Well, go fetch some lava. Okay. There's one with the bucket, right? 
a bucket. Uh, X is greater than zero. You has. <laughs> yes. Uh, wasn't there lava in this hole? Shit. Was this the wrong hole? Nope, there we go. Doink. I think that was only one source block, though, but that should be... I got a source block, because I knew where one was, but I don't know where another one is offhand. I saw a lake somewhere, but I didn't mark it. It was pretty obscured. Yeah, might have been helpful. Well, <laughs> how's a bucket worth? That's enough to get started. I just need to make the parts now. So I got an iron pickaxe head, managed to joint with that one from the table over there, and this is how you do it. You have to make sure your pick is your, your tool is completely repaired, whether it's your hatchet or whatever the hell you're making, and then you can just replace it. See, look, now it's mining level iron, and uh, if you had used it much and it had XP and uh, you weren't clumsy with it, it would keep all that stats intact. All the upgrades and everything would stay intact on it, so you don't have to make a whole new tool. See, but it has to be completely repaired, so don't forget about that. So we'll uh, pick up some calamari, because that shit takes a lot. There we go. And we'll grab this. Do we have an ingot cat cast yet over there? Cat yet. We do. An ingot cat. Get another tank, because I've discovered a uh, place for bringing back lava, and the smeltery is finally starting to rock. So I can get some tin. I upgraded my pick. And uh, as soon as that iron you were cooking up was like done, I was like, yoink, and I grabbed a pickaxe head. So I have got an iron pick. I'm going to bring back some tin that I found in this hole over here. And I can use that to cast some tin, since we can double now. And then I can pick up and put down um, portable tanks after that, and I can bring back a tank full of lava for you. All right. Bring back a lot of tin if you can. So we can make some bronze, because that'll let us mine stuff like diamond. I can't seem to mine this tin still. We got an iron pickaxe, says mine. What's the... What's the mining level on it say? It says mining level iron. Is tin better than iron? Uh, yes. But shouldn't a... I remember mining... I remember mining tin with a fucking cobblestone pickaxe. That was before the iguana tweaks changed to that stuff. Oh, Jesus fuck. So you're telling me I need a diamond pick to mine tin now? No. All of those are... All the levels are changed around slightly. You need a... Uh, I think the iron pick will do it, but you need that boost experience thing first. Or a uh, zombie head attached to it. Or is it skeleton head? I forget which. What? Look at your pickaxe. Does it have a section that says boost XP? Yeah. You need to achieve that XP to make it level up so it can do that. So it will be able to mine slightly above its level. So... what? Just mine a bunch of cobblestone? <laughs> yes. Oh, good god. Or other ores and crap. Well, it's going to take a few minutes, YouTubes. Alright, guys. Well, it's been a good little while here. I've done a bunch of mining. My pick is pretty much fuck sword, as you can see. Uh, you can repair that, so you just use any inventory slot now, which is kind of cool. You can just, like, lay your pick down and just start repairing it. So that's why I've been carrying some iron on me. But um, this video has gone on a little while. I think I'm going to wrap up for the evening. Uh, did my video earlier for my hardcore game and did this one. This one was broken up over quite a few hours. We've been getting going on the server. Just been doing a few things off camera, so everything's all hunky-dory. I uh, hope everybody had a uh, OP time with this one. I will be back probably tomorrow or the next day with this, hopefully with some more. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. Had an OP time. Like, favorite, follow, subscribe. Oh. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Slash Rob, the OP Gamer. Peace.